Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sum, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis or hypothyroid and what are some of the nutritional protocols you can implement to help you with this autoimmune condition. I'd like to preface this video with not every supplement is going to help, okay? And you need to individualize your care with a healthcare practitioner in order to get the right dosage uh, uh, and the right supplements for your thyroid condition. Today we're going to talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune condition, and how to address some of the autoimmune properties as well as some nutritional supports for thyroid. I know it's going to miss some nutrients that you think is important. However, we're just giving you a general guideline today. Okay, so when we talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, the nutritional support for your immune system is vitamin D between 2,000 and 5,000 IUs per day. Now, if your vitamin D level is quite low, you might have to take uh, 10,000 units for quite a while to get your numbers up. So it's important to check your vitamin D levels, okay? Number two is glutathione. I made two videos on NAC or N-acetylcysteine and its precursors to make glutathione. So please watch that video. So glutathione is an important immune modulator and an important um, antioxidant uh, for our system. Fish oil or EPA DHA, now you can get it from algae source or other fish sources. However, you want to take between 1,000 and 500, um, 1,000 or 5,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA, not just any fish oil. You want to be able to uh, narrow it down to EPA and DHA, okay? If you want to have a general uh, anti-inflammatory effect, EPA is better. Uh, if you want to have a more brain effect, DHA is better. Another one is turmeric. Now turmeric uh, is an anti-inflammatory, but also helps modulate some of the immune system between 400 and 1,000 milligrams per day. And the other one is resveratrol, 250 to 750 milligrams per day. Now I'm giving you a range of these supplements and not giving you exact numbers because the exact numbers have to be determined by your physician or trial and error on your part, okay? Now, general supplementation. You can take selenium in the form of L-selenomethionine, okay? Selenium is known to decrease TPO antibodies, and along with zinc, it can help increase free T3, which is your active hormone, and free T4, right? So the unbound hormones can be elevated or improved with selenium along with zinc. My inositol will help decrease TSH, especially for youth thyroid patients. And then it's been shown to actually decrease thyroid nodules. So it's a good supplement to take. Number three is ashwagandha. And it's been shown to improve T4 levels, T3 levels, as well as improving TSH levels. Now, I have a whole video series just on thyroid, so you need to go ahead and watch some of those videos to really understand the physiology. What is going on with our thyroid hormones? Uh, what is the number one cause for a hypothyroid? Uh, quick hint, it's autoimmune, it's Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and therefore, taking a thyroid medication is not the solution uh, in terms of helping you uh, manage an autoimmune condition. You have to do things that are necessary, your basic things, proper sleep, proper diet, uh, stress management, and so forth, right? So if we wanted to add to this supplement list, we can. You can take a lot of B vitamins, you can do magnesium, you can do trace minerals. There's a lot of supplements that can be utilized. However, you have to individualize your care. You can't just randomly say, I heard this is good for me, so I'm going to take it. And then by the time you're done, you'll end up with 20, 30 supplements that you're taking. And you have no idea why you're not feeling well. So it's very important to individualize your care, not just take random protocols and just implement. So what I did was I just gave you some general lists 
of things that you can utilize. However, it has to be individualized for you. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.